Natalie is here tonight from Tobin Ramon and Barbara Law Room. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So we're talking about estate planning and actually also defining what is an estate. So let's start with that one. Okay, so an estate, um, basically that's the stuff you own. Okay. And if you are a homeowner, you're a good candidate for a trust. A lot of people ask me, what's the difference between a will and a trust? Do I uh -huh. need both? Do I need one? And they think trusts are only for the uber wealthy people that have an estate that looks like a fancy, you know, Imagine, yeah. right? Um, but if you're a homeowner, then you're going to be subject to probate at your death, at least your family will. Uh -huh. um, and that's if you don't have any documents, then hands down, you're going to probate. Uh, if you have a will, you at least get to say where stuff goes when you die, mm -hmm. but a will still has to be filed at the courthouse and you have to go through probate. Okay. That's what probate is. Basically a court case to administrate your assets. Okay. Uh, so a trust is an ideal estate plan if you're a homeowner. So what does that mean you don't have to do or do have to do if you have the trust? Like how does that change? Yeah, so if you have a trust, we can still tuck the directions um, for where stuff goes when you die inside of that trust. The trust is a little bit thicker than a will, and it's what we call a self-authenticating document. All that your successor trustee has to show is a death certificate, and then they can start handing out the things. Oh, okay. With a will, you might be the nominated executor. That's the job, like a, akin to a successor trustee in a trust. You might be the nominated executor in a will, but you have no power, control, or authority unless and until you pay a lawyer like me. Okay. Lawyers wrote the laws, I guess, so I think, <laughs> I don't know if it's job security or what, but only a lawyer can enter their appearance on behalf of a state. Okay. Um, so you pay a lawyer like me to draft a probate petition, you pay the court to file it, you pay the newspaper to publish in the newspaper, and then you pay the lawyer like me to go to court every month for six months. That sounds like a lot of work. It is, a lot of time, a lot of money, yeah. and when you're grieving, when you've got what we call the grief goggles on, yeah. um, it can feel even more like extra sure. hurdles to go through. Absolutely. So a trust is more like smooth sailing and a will is more like a, a bumpy boat ride. So is just, not having the knowledge the reason why so many people might have a will and not a trust or is there some so. like hurdles on this end that make the trust more complicated to get well the trust is a little more complicated you have to have um the budget and the stomach <laughs> to kind of go through the trust process okay it usually takes two or three meetings to set up the trust um and it's a little more expensive because it's double the paperwork so it's about sure. double the cost we do uh, flat fees at our office, so before you leave your free consultation with me, you'll know exactly what you signed up for and exactly what it's gonna cost you. Okay. And we do payment plans, so you can kind of pay as you go, because we'd rather have you pick the estate plan that you want and need, rather than the one you could write a check for today. Sure, yeah, which makes sense, especially if it's something you hopefully aren't going to need for a while. Right. It's nice that you don't have to pay for it yes. today completely. And it's nice to just do it once. Um, if you do a trust, it's the only estate plan that you'll ever need. A lot of times people will have wills because that's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and then maybe 10, 20 years goes by, their family grows, life changes, situations and then they upgrade to a trust. Okay. But then you've paid for st two estate plans during your life. Right, when if you would have just done the trust in the first place. Now, can you change the trust if 10 for 15 years, like your life changes and there's other people you want to include? Absolutely. Trusts are what we call revocable um, or revocable, depends how fancy you want to sound. <laughs> um, so while you're alive, you and your spouse, um, you can change it. Okay. For, for any reason or no reason at all. Um, I had a lady and by the time she passed away, she was on her 12th restatement of trust. Wow. So. <laughs> that could either be like, she's got all these great new people in her life, right? or she just had some ones she didn't want to involve anymore. Yep. She was interesting. She was um, a retired teacher uh, and um, no family, no spouse, no kids. Okay. Whatever students would stay in touch with her. Oh, wow. I noticed they would kind of stay in and then maybe if someone fell out of favor with her, maybe they wouldn't be in that year. That, that must so. be a little fun for you. It was, it was interesting, <laughs> yeah. I looked forward to our annual meetings that we had. I bet, I um, bet. What's the best way to get in touch with you and your law firm? I would say either email or a phone call. Okay. So you could email me directly um, at natalie at tobinramon.com uh, or we've got our phone number and everything is listed on our website, which Perfect. is tobinramon.com. All right, that QR code will take you there too. Natalie, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Coming up next on GDS, help for first time home buyers and Tasha is back for Tuesday Tips. We'll be right back.